on guys welcome back to another shadow gun war games video so the beta for shadow gun war games i can confirm is coming this month in january so get ready for it because it is going to be absolutely amazing in this video i'm going to show you all of the heroes that we know so far in the game and explain a bit about them and see who's the best one and i'll say again if you want to keep up with all the latest info about this game make sure you hit a like on this video subscribe i'm gonna be doing some massive giveaways when the game drops as well all you have to do to be able to participate in those is like i said be subscribed get your notification bells on drop a like drop a comment below what you think about the heroes in this video and without further ado let's get into it enjoy yeah baby girl you're so damn fine don't wanna know if i can hear that from behind though I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Okay, so again, welcome back to another video, guys. Now, in this one, like I said, we're going to show you all the heroes that we've... Well, that's basically been unveiled so far. Um, we're going to watch a trailer for each one first, and then we're going to talk a bit about it and see exactly how good they are. So we are going to start with Slade. Hello and welcome to a Shadowgun Wargames Hero Unveil, featuring John Slade. Slade is an ex-Marine and a Shadowgun, an interstellar gun for hire. He's not just the most well-known character of the Shadowgun universe, but also one of the deadliest heroes in Wargames. His primary weapon is a very accurate assault rifle. It performs well in mid-range to long distances and deals a fair amount of damage. Keep the enemy in your sights and unleash a hail of bullets. If you run out of ammo, consider switching to Slade's secondary weapon, a high fire rate SMG. It maybe doesn't hit as hard as the assault rifle, but switching weapons is always faster than reloading. Now, let's have a look at Slade's abilities. The first one being a high explosive grenade. Slade throws a grenade at a desired location, dealing a large amount of damage to one or multiple targets. A well-placed grenade can change the outcome of any teamfight into your favor. Slade's second ability is Regeneration. Slade regenerates a moderate amount of his HP over time, preparing himself for the next fight. This ability grants Slade a high level of endurance, making him very strong even when not accompanied by a healer. As Slade, it's always important to find good cover to get some of your HP back. Of course, regeneration can also be used in the middle of combat, helping Slade to survive almost any tough fight. Slade excels in the front line, as he is capable of outperforming most of his enemies in overall damage. With only a moderate amount of maximum HP, your best bet is to always be close to cover and heal yourself between firefights. Cover is essential, since regeneration works over time and most enemies will kill you faster than you can heal. On that note, you really should watch out for snipers, as they are your greatest weakness. When throwing a grenade, the more targets you hit, the better. Try engaging groups of enemies low on HP and finishing them off with one blast. Alternatively, you can disengage, regenerate your health and resume the fight before your enemies have a chance to heal. Slade is ready to help you become a Wargames champion once the game is released. If you want to play the game as soon as possible, visit ShadowgunWarGames.com. Thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield. Okay, so John Slade. This dude looks incredible. It looks like your standard sort of run and gun um, sort of hero. He looks good. His armor looks incredible as well. I like the beefed up sort of body plate he's got on. Uh, it seems as though like he's sitting there. He's got uh, obviously his main gun, which is his AR, which is shown right now, which does look very powerful. It's a normal standard assault rifle. It looks kind of like a scar. Um, I can imagine there'll be like skins and stuff you can add on to this too, but again, that looks so powerful. It's going to be for people who aren't sort of used to these games. It's going to be a good class for people who have never played a game like this before. Because his main gun is an AR, his other gun is an SMG, and everyone's kind of played PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile and all of those. So um, it looks incredible. His abilities as well um, look really good. He's got this high explosive grenade, which is 
which looks OP. I can imagine, obviously, if the enemies are in, like, a massive cluster of enemies, they can just blow them up just like that. Um, the gun looks incredible. It just looks so powerful. Um, he's also got a regeneration ability as well, uh, which is obviously going to help you on the battlefield to regenerate your health really quickly when you're in a fight and you need to heal up. Um, as you can see at the top of the screen there, you've got 100 HP, so it looks like every enemy is going to have 100 HP. And as you can see there, he's regenerating his health now as he's shooting. So, um, John Slade looks absolutely um, incredible. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. I mean, obviously we'll have to see exactly what he's like in the game and how powerful he really is. But looking good so far, that's a really good hero to have. Um, it's going to show the playstyle now, but we all kind of know what the playstyle is going to be with John Slade. It's going to be a run and gun. It's going to get his assault rifle out. You can switch to your SMG really quick as well when you run out of ammo when you're assault rifle, which is probably the best thing to do because it looks like the reloads do take quite a while. Um, but again, you've got the grenade to help you out. You've got the regeneration as well when you need to run away and heal. Um, and he basically just looks incredible. So that is John Slade. The next we are going to get on to is Willow. Hello and welcome to a Shadow Gun Wargames Hero Unveil, featuring Willow. Willow became one of the galaxy's top snipers, and as such, she likes to keep her distance, both figuratively and literally. Cold as ice and lethal as fire, Willow will make everyone double check before crossing any open space in Wargames. Willow's primary weapon is the Avenger sniper rifle perfect for dealing massive amounts of damage from the back line while staying safe from your enemies. The rifle is semi-automatic, so you don't have to reload after every shot. If an opponent gets too close to you, it's time to bust out the Lynx SMG. This rapid-fire submachine gun will help you take care of any short to mid-range threat. Also consider switching to it when you don't have enough time to reload your rifle. Willow's abilities combine both defense and offense. The first one is Supercharge. Willow charges her weapons to deal even more damage. Use it to take down a hard-to-kill target or to quickly dispatch multiple enemies in your sights. Willow's second ability is the Flash Mine. She deploys a mine that will temporarily blind any opponent that steps on it. If an enemy is chasing you, activate the mine, find a good position and then use your enemy's confusion to your advantage or deploy the mine in a close-range fight, instantly blinding the enemy and assuring your victory. For Willow, it's crucial to keep a distance from her enemies as she has a lower amount of health. Always try to find a vantage point where you'll remain safe and see your enemy well. If you get into close combat, you'll probably want to disengage as soon as possible. The flash mine can help with that. And if you feel like fighting your way out, the SMG is probably a better weapon to use instead of trying to no-scope your opponent. Willow's damage output is very high, but once you get caught, you're gonna have a hard time, so always look out for your surroundings. Willow is a perfect choice for everyone who favors long-distance combat and has great aim. She is ready to help you to become a War Games champion once the game is released. If you want to play the game as soon as possible, visit ShadowgunWarGames.com. Thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield. Okay, so Willow is your standard sniper, guys. And she got a thick booty. Holy shit. Um, yeah, she's your standard sniper. The sniper, I'm not gonna I'm trying to figure out if it is one shot. It looks one shot from that clip right there. And if it is one shot, then this character and hero is gonna be so OP. She's also got an SMG as well, so even for up close fighting, she's good with the quick fire SMG. As you can see here, we've got the first weapon, which is the sniper rifle. Again, you're probably going to be able to use skins on this. It's called an Avenger sniper rifle. As you can see, oh, right there, it looks like it is two shot. Some of them look like they're one shot, but some of them look like they're two shot. So, again, you can no scope up front as well. As you can see, she quickly reverts to her SMG. It's called a Lynx SMG. Um, it looks really weird without a uh, sort of muzzle on the end of it, but again, when you're in an up-close fight like that, you can quickly switch to it, and her abilities do look crazy as well. These are some crazy abilities. Look at this. So the first one we have, 
We'll wait for it. As soon as it shows behind me, we'll talk about it. We've got the supercharge, which basically looks like this is what? It looks like when you activate supercharge. Oh, I see what it is. So when you activate supercharge, you're going to be able to uh, snipe people with one shot, which is amazing. And then obviously she's got her flash mine as well, um, where she can flash enemies and then just snipe them while they're flashed. Obviously put her thumbs down right there. So Willow looks incredible if you want to sort of fight long range. She's definitely not a run and gun. Uh, but she does have the ability to fight enemies up close with that Lynx SMG as well. Uh, so that is Willow. And the third and final hero that we know so far we're going to get on to is Sara. Let's go. Hello and welcome to a Shadowgun Wargames Hero Unveil. Featuring Sarah. Sarah is a third generation sentient android robotic assistant, formerly used by the Planetary Federation and later hired by Slade as his first mate. Although her main function is to assist her allies, she is still a force to be reckoned with in war games. Sarah's primary weapon is the Asclepius rocket launcher. It's perfect for supporting your team in large scale team fights as its projectiles deal area effect damage between multiple opponents. Just try to keep your enemies at mid-range and be careful not to harm yourself when engaging targets too close to you. If you get into close combat or run out of rockets, your second choice is the Apioni SMG. It deals only medium damage, but is still a good choice to help your team push back the enemy or defend yourself against closer targets. Both of Sarah's abilities are designed to assist you and your team. The first one is the Healing Blast. Sarah throws a grenade that will rapidly heal every ally hero near the explosion, including you. A well-placed Healing Blast can change the outcome of any encounter, so be sure to pick the correct time and place carefully. Sarah's second ability is the Protection Dome. Sarah sets up a big shielding dome around her, absorbing any damage from the outside for a limited time. The dome also has limited durability and will break after being under fire for a while. You can count on Sarah to provide healing and protection in any scenario, but also deal substantial damage to the enemy team. Her rocket launcher enables her to hit multiple targets at once, making her a terrifying presence in tight team fights, while her rapid-fire SMG can finish off any wounded opponents. If you ever find yourself losing a fight, use the protection dome in conjunction with the healing blast. Simply place the dome around your team and heal everyone inside. Be careful not to deploy the protection dome too close to the enemy as they can run inside and negate its effect. Sarah combines both defensive and offensive capabilities in a slick metal frame. She is ready to help you and your team to become War Games champions once the game is released. If you want to play the game as soon as possible, visit shadowgunwargames.com. Thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield. Okay, so from looking at it guys, Sara, in my opinion, looks like the most OP character in this game, okay? She has a beastie rocket launcher, and all the clips I've seen so far, the rocket launcher just looks crazy good. If you hit an enemy, it looks like it's just going to blow them up straight away. So, as you can see here, she's got her secondary SMG out right now. Oh no, sorry, her, her first SMG. So it looks like... Her main weapon is, oh sorry, her main weapon is going to be the rocket launcher. It's called an Escal Asclepius rocket launcher. And just look at this. You can literally spam it and you can just blow enemies up left, right and center. It looks crazy good. Absolutely insane. And I, I'm not sure if you look in the top right, it looks like it can hold, I think, three bullets in the chamber. Three rockets. And then she can switch to her Epion SMG just here as well. So... These classes are really good, the, uh, having secondary SMGs, because again, when you're in these up-close fights with enemies, you're going to be able to sort of switch out to your SMG and kill them really quickly. And her abilities look insane as well. Okay, she's got a healing blast, so she's sort of going to be, it's kind of aggressive, but she's going to be able to heal your enemy. She sort of throws out a little healing bomb, a little healing grenade. And you can heal your teammates, uh, which is a crazy. And then obviously she's got she's got the amazing protection zone, which is basically like a force field sort of blast shield thing that she can put out for her enemies. It looks like that blast shield is going to have a certain amount of health before it cracks and, and sort of disappears. But then again, you can pull it out and then you can sort of poke your rocket launcher out of the blast shield and blast enemies while they're running at you. Um, so again, she looks like the most OP character so far in these trailers, but we haven't played the game yet, so we don't know exactly sort of how good they're going to be, uh, but she looks definitely the best so far, so it's going to be a good game.
Okay, so that is basically the video, guys. I just wanted to show you some new heroes that are coming out in the game. Um, that it just, again, it just looks incredible. I can confirm the beta is due to release this month, so we're going to be able to see exactly what it's about. And I can imagine the full release will be shortly after as well for the game globally. So it's going to be crazy. Uh, I also made a trailer video, a first look of all of some more sort of the map and everything. If you want to check that out, um, make sure you go and check in my past videos. Again, I would appreciate it if you can hit a like on this video if you've enjoyed the content. Hit that subscribe button and I'll keep you up to date with all the latest info. And obviously I'll drop some giveaways as well uh, when the game drops. So if you want to go and check out my past video I made on this, a first look and find out some more about the game, go and click right here. And guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Yeah, boys!